Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maxim Automation. Part of these tips and tricks, I would like to share all the best practices that everyone should know and follow while writing the code or designing your framework. These best practices not only helps you to create a good quality code, but also helps you to become a good programmer. Today in this video, I'm again going to share another tip which is helpful when we write the code. Now, as you know, we cannot assign a null value to a value type. For example, let's say if I create an integer variable i and if I try to assign null value to this integer variable, then you can see it gives a compile time error that you cannot convert null to int because it is a non nullable value type. But now let's say in your project, you might have a situation where the integer variable value can be null as well. Then let's see how you can handle that situation. So for this, C Sharp introduced nullable types which allow you to assign null to value type variables. You can use the nullable type by declaring nullable of type T, where T is the value type. And the value type in our case is integer. And then into this variable, we can assign the values as null. Now, into this nullable type of int, we can assign the values which we can assign into an integer variable. But now, here we can add an extra null value. And now you can see it did not give any error. So there is an operator which we can use as a shorthand for nullable syntax. So instead of typing nullable of value type, you can also type int followed by question mark operator. And then create your variable and assign the value. So this is the shorthand syntax for nullable types. Either you can use this syntax to create a nullable value type or you can use this shorthand syntax for the same. Here also, you can see it did not give any error. Now, if I print the value of these nullable variables into the console, then in case of null, we'll have nothing to be printed in the console. But if it has any valid value, then the same will get printed. See, nothing is printed here as both variables have null values. But now let me assign the valid values to both the variables. And let me run it again. Here you can see now it printed the values for both the variables in the console. Also, the nullable type exposes some methods which we can use. Like one of the useful method is has value. So this method returns true if the variable has a valid value. And if it is a null, then this will return false. So let me add an if condition here to check if this nullable dot has value, then it is gonna print valid value into the console. And if the variable has null value, then it will print null value into the console. Now let me run it again. Here you can see it printed the valid value in the console because we assigned the valid value to the label type. Now let me change the value here from valid value to null. And if I run it again, then you can see it printed the null value in the console. So this is how you can create and use nullable type variables. I hope you liked this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.